Hello and welcome to the What's New series for Encore POS. This series will come out with a new video upon every major Encore POS update, detailing any big changes or great new features. Today we'll be taking a quick look at all the changes made in the newest version, 1.2.100. Let's get right into it. We've added an all new time clock report on the reports tab under the new employees tile. Payroll just got a whole lot easier. Our report correctly handles entries past midnight as well as allowing you to export and sort the data before forwarding to your payroll service. Under the sales tile of the reports tab, we've added a sales by station report. Easily track just what each register contributes to your daily business. You can run this report for a particular station or by all, by type or department, and even by customer type. Also under the same sales tile, you'll find the brand new daily report. Easily access the end of day information for any day quickly. Having remote access to this report is a huge plus. We didn't just add new reports with this version, we also listened to your feedback and beefed up some features for existing reports and utilities. For the hourly sales report, we added a custom date range option. We changed the customer's column in the frequent buyer's points log to not only display the customer number, but also their full name as displayed in Liquor POS. Both brand and description fields are fully present on all reports where it is relevant. On the discounts report, you can now drill through to detail on each invoice with a discount. To do this, hover your mouse over the invoice number of a transaction you'd like to read more on and left click. You'll see this pop-up menu with additional details and the option to print the invoice by pressing this button here. In the Inventory Performance Report, we've added the ability to point and select and also to include no sales options to allow you to be more selective in your reporting. We've added the two custom inventory fields from Liquor POS to the fields available for editing in Encore POS's Item Edit Utility. If you use these fields to track something such as vintage and region for your wine selection, you'll be able to easily run through our spreadsheet and make needed changes. You'll just need to make sure that you've activated these fields in our settings page. Now Encore POS can import the customized settings from your Liquor POS program. This is useful for a few of our current features, but it will become far more significant as we add functionality to Encore POS in order to keep the two systems complementary. We've discovered a few bugs and implemented fixes for them, so I'll go through the big ones now. Encore POS has been tweaked to look and handle better on small screens. We fixed a bug in license file upload from the settings panel and a bug in the daily summary report using 1213 periods and affecting the last week of the year. That'll about wrap it up for this video. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest and greatest from POS Advisors. We'll have our support number down in the description, so don't hesitate to call us if you need us. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.